we're going to find out about his friend, Boris. All right? So this is how it starts. There once was a tarantula, Boris by name, who proved all tarantulas were not the same. And see, there he is. There's Boris the tarantula. Aww, he's, cute. he's cute. Yes. He's so, cute. so everyone look at the picture, and it says, he had eight legs and eyes, as nature intended. However, with that, the similarity ended. Other spiders were baffled, and deeply they feared no one would find out what made Boris so <coughs> weird. So what do you think is what weird about Boris? He has yes. Eight eyes. Yeah, that's right. He's he, he's he could be scared. What else? He's got eight legs and eyes. He's a big giant tarantula. But we'll see what's so weird about Boris. So what's that? That's, that's Boris's bedroom door. Who's got a bedroom door? That's right. There's Boris's bedroom door right there, and it says he never went hunting or stalking around at tarantula soccer. He'd never be found. He, had, he never had seconds of his mom's cricket stew. He never did anything tarantulas do. He spent all his time, his heart, and his reason on the practice and keeping of one special season. So do we know a little bit about what's so weird about Boris? Does he do what the other tarantulas do? No. No, he doesn't. Let's find out what he does. <laughs> Boris loved Christmas. He loved it most of all more than his birthday or the tarantula's ball. He sang Christmas carols while up, at, up late at night. He decorated everything with twinkling light. He was expert at wrapping and tying all bows, and he knew the true hue of Rudolph's red nose. So who's talked about Rudolph the red nose reindeer? Was that you? That's right. So Boris knows the exact color red of Rudolph's red nose. So let's turn the page. And what's he doing now? Baking He's stuff. baking. He made cookies and cakes and all Christmas candy. And being a spider, eight legs were so handy. For no one could decorate the house just as quick. No one, of course, except good old Saint Nick. Now, who's Saint Nick again? It's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus, that's right. Since my very first Christmas, he would answer quite snappy, it's the one thing I know that makes everyone happy. So to help all the others with sorrow and strife, I'll celebrate Christmas each day of my life. So what's he going to do? If he, if he celebrates Christmas all year round, what does that make other people? Happy. That's right. It makes and everybody. Surprise. Exactly. It's a surprise for everybody. So here we go. Now, this is what his father said. Please give up this notion, his father did ask. It's only one holiday, not a full year round task. So is Christmas only one day? Is Christmas Day just one day in the year? Yeah. So he celebrates it all year round. Is that kind of crazy? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> his feelings for Christmas were not understood, so Boris knew he should leave his tarantula hood and go to the place where Christmas is made. Anyone know where that is? That's right, and hoped that his talents could offer some aid. So here, what's the picture? Where's this? And where's Boris? He's right there. So does he have a long way to go to get to the North Pole? Yeah. Yes, he does. Well, we'll see how far he has to walk. Yeah. Oh, and what's he doing now? He's, he's got his things with it, and he's leaving home. Ooh, November was ending. He knew he must hurry. He explained to his parents to stop all their worry. You might think I am foolish for what I have vowed. Let me follow my dream. I know you'll be proud. Boris left his home burrow. It was first light with a hug from his parents, 16 legs tight. Now, why were there 16 legs? Because his parents are tarantulas too. And how many legs do they have? Because they're spiders. Each one of them have eight, so eight and eight is 16. Oh, what does this say? That's right. His travels were long in a world cold and scary. He was quite afraid, though he was big and hairy. His deep love for Christmas never did waver. The toils for his journey only made him much braver. He followed his heart and had faith in his soul. If he kept walking north, he would reach the north. Oh. That's right. After walking for ages, feet frozen in snow, he simply looked up and what do you know? Welcome to the North Pole, the sign brightly read. Boris had made it. Now full steam ahead. 
going on here? Oh, he, we got he elves. Got He's there. coming in the wrong, and they're scared. That's right. Old Santa was busy with the elves in his shop when a knock on the door brought them to a stop. They opened the door to take a quick peek, and what they saw standing there made them all shriek. What happens when somebody shrieks? They scream really loud. Everyone shriek. Good job. A giant tarantula was standing therein in hat, gloves, and boots, and a big Christmas grin. Merry Christmas to all. I'm Boris the Spider. He stuck in four legs, and the door opened wider. I've walked thousands of miles to come and help you. I love Christmas so much. There isn't much I can't do. So what can Boris do? He can make cookies and cakes. He can decorate trees. He's an expert at Christmas. So what's Santa look like now? Does he look happy? No. No. He's like surprised. He looks surprised. That's right. Santa was speechless as Boris drew near. Most of the elves, what are they doing? Hiding. Are hiding in fear. Uh, thanks said Santa. This is most unexpected. It's rare that an offer of help is rejected, but wouldn't some other place suit you as well, like Halloween or Easter? You never can tell. Easter. And so it's like, Halloween's too scary, Boris said with a shiver, and who wants to work for a painted egg giver? Please give me a chance. I have much to prove. Boris smiled at Santa while the elves did not move. Then quicker than lightning, the spider crawled in and jumped up fangs first in an ornament bin. Before Santa and the elves could cope with their fright, Boris gave their small workshop a makeover in light. So what's he doing here? He's decorating, He's decorating the tree. What's on the tree? Everyone look and tell me something that's well, on the tree. There's a, there's a gingerbread man. What's over here? What's that? Snowman. Snowman. What does he have right here? It's a candy cane. It's a candy cane. What's here? Ornament. A Ornament. A train. What's this over here? What's that? Bell. A bell. That's right. And he's decorating the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree glistened. Decor was inspired. Santa knew Boris must surely be hired. The North Pole was delighted. All gave out a cheer. But no one came forward or even got near. Why did they not get near? Because he, because they were still what? They were still scared. That's right. Because he, they think he's going to eat them. With Christmas so close, there rose an alarm that Santa himself could not fix with his charm. The desire to be good on Christmas was lacking. With tantrums and fits, spoiled brats were attacking. Do you know what a brat is? It's a person who's really, really mean. Look, he says, good equals loser. Give me my presents Christmas now. They're being very, very mean. They demanded their Christmas with all that they had. They wanted their presents, though they had been bad. Santa thought, what in the world can we do with no naughty and nice? Christmas meaning's not true. What is that? This says, give me my presents. And look, does he, he looks, he's, he's mean, he's all angry, and she's really mean. But hers? Hers says Christmas now. She wants her Christmas right now. So she's being very, very bad, isn't she? That's right. Well, let's find out what happened. Santa called an elf council to think really quick. We need to save Christmas. Now, who should they pick? The choices were dreary. Some hard for the palate. Then Santa saw Boris's name on the ballot. The answer is simple. He has fangs of eight feet, but his passion for Christmas can never be beat. So what are all the elves and Santa going to do? They're going to pick Boris to, to go on a trip. So Boris was called from his dark working place and soon found dear Santa an inch from his face. I want you to see that the children do good and share love for Christmas as all children should. I'm ever so honored, Boris said with a tear, and all of these elves let out an elf cheer. The problem was solved that all of them cared with so Boris so busy, they wouldn't be scared. scared. That's right. Boris called, crawled away quickly. He went kid to kid, making sure only good things that they did. So here they are. They're all mean right here. This is before. They're all mean right here. She's all mad. He's got a bad idea in his head. He's just angry. He stopped sneaky Cecil, who wanted to maim. One look at our Boris. He was never the same. He gave Roger the bully, this guy over here, an eight-legged hug. Now Roger is jumpy at the sight of a bug. He saved mean Amanda. That's her over here. 
From screaming and stomping with a smile of his fangs, she feared a great chomping. The brats all went from disrespect to devotion, for a giant tarantula watched every motion. So look, they're all to, what do they have here? What, is, what does that say right there? Merry Christmas. She's got a present. He's got a candy cane. So before they were mean, now after, are they scared of Boris? No. No, they're not. That's true. This great news, said Boris, will make Santa quite glad. He now knows for Christmas these children aren't bad. So let's see what happens, right? The grandparents were grateful. The moms and dads raved to see all their children so well behaved. Boris kept bad ideas out of all of their heads by showing up nightly at the foot of their beds. And what's that sign say? Be good. That's right. And is he is he happy to see Boris? Yeah. No. Is, yeah. it, is the teddy bear happy to see Boris? Yeah. No, that's true. Let's see. Always be good, Boris called out in the night. Merry Christmas, said the brats, still frozen with fright. The reports came in quickly. The good news was steady. Santa and the elves were all at the ready. Boris found the good children. That much was clear. Christmas was safe for another great year. So what's this say? We? And are they having a big party? Yeah. Uh, where we got balloons over here and all the elves are throwing their hats in the air? Yeah. That's right. They're shouting how much they love him. When invited to ride in Santa's great, great sleigh, Boris was speechless. What should he say? What would you say if Santa said, ride in my sleigh? Thank you. You would say, thank you, that's right. With a yes, Boris said yes. He soon found himself soaring through space. Working for Christmas, he found his right place. So he's never going to go back home? That's, he's going he's to work for Santa Claus. Now. Santa! Look, and see, where's Santa? Is that Santa right there? Yeah. Is he, is he holding on to the back? Yeah. Who's driving the sleigh? The sleigh. That's Boris. right, Boris is. <laughs> so look to the sky this next Christmas night when the moon in the heavens is shining so bright. The toys might fall down. That's true, they might fall out. You might see a tarantula with a spider smile wide and a jolly Saint Nick cowered off to the side. Please think of this tale as a good thing to hear. Behave at your best throughout the long year, because if you desire to cause wreck and ruin, a spider might ask, hey, what are you doing? Be kind to your family and other love givers when finding good in all children. Boris always you know, delivers. Do you know what I would say if I saw Boris? What? He's cute. Thank you very much. Yes, he is cute. And everyone, what does that say at the end? The end. Very good. Give yourself a round of applause. Hug yourself. Now, hug your, everyone hug yourself just like this. Good job. Now, the thing is, is that I want to point out something to you, is that Boris wants all the children to be good. So what I want to find out, I brought my book with me. I'm going to see Boris later, and I want you guys to tell me a good thing that you did this year. You know what a good thing is? Yeah. Like doing something that your parents tell you to do, or some nice thing you did for somebody. So you guys tell me a nice thing that you guys did, or in fact, a nice thing to do for people. Okay, so yes, what's your name? Hi. Avery. Nice to meet you, Avery. And what did, what's a nice thing to do? I shared. You shared. Perfect. I'm going to write that down. Avery shared. Yes. What's a nice thing to do? Share your toys. Share your toys. Very good. That's excellent. Yes. What's a nice um, thing to do? Um, listen to your mom. Listen to your mom. That's very important. All right. Yes. What's a nice thing to do? Um, be happy. Be kind to people. Yes, that is very, very important. Yes, what's a nice thing to do? Help your sister. Help your sister. That's excellent. Because, you know, sisters need help. They do sometimes. Okay. But not big sisters. No, not big sisters, because big sisters help you. Is that right? That's true. big brothers help You're telling me big brothers need help sometimes. Okay. So, yes, what's a nice thing to do? You are you on the way. That's true, but you can give me another one. Go ahead. Share with your sister. That's very important. Yes, what's a nice thing to do? Um, help your dad. Help your dad. Yeah. You're listening to this? Help your dad? That's good. Yes, what, what, did you have one? Yes. Oh, uh, be respectful. 
Be respectful. My goodness, that's awesome. Very good. Yes, what's what? what, what? Give people stuff they want. That's really good. Yes. Uh, don't be afraid of spiders. Don't be good. Don't be afraid of spiders. Because you know what? Are spiders here to help us? Yeah. Yes, they do. Because spiders get rid of what? Poison. Poison and other bugs. That's true. Yes. What do you? Yeah. Fine. That's right. Good. Okay. Daddy long legs. Yeah, Dad will know. Daddy long legs. They're very important. You need them. Okay. Yes. You are. That's right, you can give food to homeless people. That's true. I am, that's good, I'm gonna write that down too. Does anyone have any other good things that they can do? Yes, 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 what is good? Be nice to your mom. Be nice to your mom. Moms need niceness. I know. Yes. Yourself. Clean up after yourself. That's excellent. Perfect. And yes, go ahead. What, what, did you have one? Did you have one to say? Yes. Be nice to your sister. Be nice to your sister. Good. You have another one. What's your other one? Be nice to the universe. Be nice to the universe. That is awesome. Yes. What's another one? That's right, help other people. I have another one. That you have I another can. one? My goodness. Okay, everybody give me one more. Okay, starting with you. Um, be thankful for your family. Be thankful for your family. That's true. I have one more. I have one that I want to share with you. Don't burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you should not burp. Burp is when you go, ah, after you eat a big meal, and it's like, ah, it's terrible. Did you burp at lunch? Ugh. You shouldn't burp. Don't burp. 